Well, I mean, right now I'm currently eating cheese string in um, hermetically sealed plastic. And I have to say, the idea of canned cheese is, is kind of appealing to me. I'll tell you why. Um, metal cans are, are one of the few things that I think we know are actually recyclable. Like, you can actually recycle the metal. Whereas I don't think you can actually recycle plastic. I think, I mean, that's, that's mostly a myth, right? I'm gonna use my controller. Spray cheese is classic childhood for me. I mean, I like cheese a lot. And I don't think cheese string is particularly good. Like I'm not I'm not going to die on the hill of cheese string. But um I think it's better than cheese whiz. And I mean, it's a pretty low calorie snack. So um, you know, it's more of a, a means of convenience than anything else. So, I will low-key judge you guys. That's fine. Wow, you only get one lettuce? String cheese is good though. It's fine. I mean, it's basically just mozzarella. Bad mozzarella. I mean, like, bad in comparison to actual mozzarella. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's it's not bad food. Like, there's so much worse food that you can eat. So, um, you know. Oh wait, we wanna we wanna cook something. I can't remember what we were doing, gang. Uh, I can't even remember where my where the, the kitchen is. Oh, there it is. I keep rearranging the boat so I never know where anything is. Um, I buy cheese string because it's at this point it's the cheapest cheese I can find. And it's just a snack. Like, I don't know, guys. We're, we're, we're like, really moving into an, an un, um, unsustainable era. It feels like the unsustainable era where everything is just, like, so expensive that I can't even buy a block of cheese without considering it, like, is, you know, part of some kind of budget. Oh, I'm gonna have to, you know, really uh, cut back this month on buying a block of cheese. Dang. Queso fresco is real cheese at least. It has a taste. Mozzarella is just solid milk. Spray cheese does not even qualify as cheese here in Europe. Uh, I think we are gonna do this dragon. Wait, is that turtle around? Yeah, let's do the turtle first. Actually, hold on. Is there is there a shortcut? There is no shortcut. Okay. I feel bad. I think cheese is a lot cheaper here. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm, I am a cheese snob. I love me some good cheese. I really enjoy a solid cheese. And, um, you know, I am, I have, I, you know, 
I honestly, I've never met a cheese I don't like. I, I don't. I wouldn't go out of my way for cheese whiz. Uh, I don't think I've ever had spray cheese, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't even know what spray cheese is. Like, uh, what kind of cheese is that? Is it cheddar? Um, I really love uh, brie. I have a I have a high fondness for brie. I even like a blue cheese occasionally. Um. We're looking for something simple, regular. No, fine dining, plain. Is this all I have? I'm gonna have to make some more of that. I have to do some fishing. Uh, I don't know what our... Okay. What is this? Bottled... Bottle with a message, what could it be? I'm lost at sea, hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here is my location on the map. Wasn't I supposed to go somewhere that was like negative 100, 100? Wasn't there something about that? Pepper Jack is real good. That is not okay. And do board us, scam us? What is that? Hey bot. I'm not a big fan of cheese in general. <laughs> Yo, that's uh, that's a pretty hot take. I think that's the hottest take you've ever given, bot. That's like saying you don't like pizza. smoked monster in uh, Europe. I know this is, this is probably the fanciest thing I'll ever say on chat in uh, on stream And it was really good and I've never been able to find smoked smoked monster since What what is uh, what is Neville doing? <laughs> You have, you have smoked monster? I've had smoked monster. And I really liked it. Seriously, like one of the best cheeses I think I've ever had. Smoked any, like any smoked cheese is honestly like amazing. I would die on that hill. Are you all done there? Yeah. All right. I'll see you later then. What is Neville doing? I don't understand. Seriously, stop. Um, I do have the icebreaker now, so I should be able to use that to get somewhere interesting. Um... There's apparently something over here. Is this at negative 100, 100? No. So, hold on. Negative 100. 100. This must be the ice. It might be, like, here. Calstane Mines. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna fast travel there. I mean, my last sentence is basically English. You can figure it out by looking very closely. Det arved detter. Det detter ved detter. Gif? Gif? Sound good. Smoked monster cheese. It's real good. Like I say, I mean, smoked any smoked cheese is probably, like, top-notch. I don't know. I defy anyone to tell me that it's bad. Ooh, pork chops. Dude, those are pork chops. Stella, this is amazing. Amazingly good. I can't believe it. This is my favorite dish. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. That is what that is. 
Oh, that are what that are. I forgot to plant new things here. I kind of wish I could automate cooking in this game. Cooking is like very labor intensive. Well, it's not really, but like I have to keep on it. We got meat stew. What is this? Tea leaves. Uh, do I have any? I don't have any fish. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Is spray cheese even cheese? I don't think it matters. Yeah, the thing we got to remember is that like it's very easy to get like very. Oh, I mean, that's bad for you. You know, that's not good food. None of it is. <laughs> there's so there's so little food right now that isn't like processed in some horrible way okay we're gonna go to 100 negative 100 100 pretty sure that's where i have to go oh sorry no it's negative 150 150 damn it Okay, so this is a waste of time. Um, let's check out these mines. I should be able to break through these, uh, this line here. Let's watch that happen. Yo! I know cheese in a can ain't cheese. <laughs> I mean, we just had this discussion. <laughs> why, why can't cheese in a can be cheese? This seems like uh, plastic industry propaganda. Oh, we have another turtle up here? Masha. Huh. The boat. The, the boat is cold. So we've got some new stuff going on over here. Oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 Ooh. years. You can't just waltz in there. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the Ooh. attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just see, need some training. I went to school for this job, you know? Ooh. I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could dis uh, deputize you. That would work, actually. A break once in a while does sound Ooh. nice. Go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. Need to be able to do all that before I can make you part of the team. All right, so I need zipline before we can do anything here. My bet's on a reindeer next because North Pole wasn't the first person that I whose um, wish I fulfilled a, a deer. It's your lucky day. I got a new errand for you, fresh off the presses. Have a look, see.
Uh, I don't want to sell anything. I have another dragon over here. Opal. Do I need opal? What are my current quests right now? I really need to find that out. Give a tool some fried chicken. Tell Alice about the house you built for her. Ah. Find Olga's sister, Masha. Meet with the aluminum dra aluminium dragon. Okay, those might be close nearby. What is this? This is the aluminium dragon. All right, let's check that out. Penguins are huggable. Yay. tail segment went well today <laughs> i'm just thinking about like how poorly that stalker segment went and just like just dang <laughs> polar bears scare me you don't really survive seeing them in the wild polar bear look huggable but are scary indeed yeah can you imagine a thing could just like step on you Okay, we're fighting a dragon. The thing about polar bears is not only can it step on you, it will actively do so even when satiated. Something smells different, don't you think? As I thought. Just, just help it, Stella. Okay. Material here. Whoa, whoa, what was that? That was weird. Tons of aluminum. Incredible. 
What the? Why did I fall off there? It's... I... I need some time. Sorry. Things are looking good for War Tales after such hardship. Yeah. It's taken... It's taken a long time to actually get, like... I don't know. Good at that game. I have read enough romance novels to know where this is going. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a snake. It's not a octopus. <laughs> okay. Are you okay? I'm I'm just trying to break the game. Don't don't mind me. I'm just honestly, I'm just trying to break the cat. Sorry, dog. Too dark to navigate. Okay. We got aluminum. Sorry, aluminium. Aluminium. I'm assuming um, we can get this new spirit and uh, they'll teach us how to shear sheep. It'd be kind of nice. But I'm gonna go meet Masha first. We'll plant some aluminium and some iron. Aluminium is the is the correct pronunciation. I mean, I it's all bullshit <laughs> This is nothing is objective. It's all vague and weird. I was getting tamer It seemed like we finally learned to coexist to manage at least but uh, it's really getting stronger, isn't it? You know what it means as I, well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please when you can bring me to the ever door. What? I'll be fine. Oh, okay. It would be nice something to eat. All right. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That, that is also how I eat popcorn. I know it would be really labor intensive to have different animations for every single spirit, depending on what they were eating. I understand this. What happened? What I miss? What? We're getting rid of a permanent. Yeah, we're getting rid of the snake. Pimple got hurt? No. No. I need to catch more fish. Okay, that's that was a difficult one. Char, huh? Good morning, Sprout. Good morning. I had a hankering for this. Just to see you, don't worry. Oh my god. Here we are. As I told you, Masha and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth. No, not the funny kind. And yes, much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. Mm -hmm. On the contrary. All right. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Masha, good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much farther than I thought. Mm -hmm. how, how are you doing these days? Well, well, if it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga sent you? Should I assume you'd need a, need a favor? 
if it's a scarf, sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I needed to a lovely chap up in the mountains. I still have some winter socks if you're interested. Mm -hmm. That's nice of you, but uh, that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising the oceans. Mm -hmm. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? Mm -hmm. I know it's silly, but I'm still looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter you had a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually, but Astrid, you know, I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga, maybe, but I won't even talk about Irina. Uh, Irina? But me? Uh, oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Brogwood how his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me the secret of her foreign lover? You don't? Exactly. That's because I've never told anyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Longden London's Langdon's spat with his wife? All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Mrs. Langdon's maid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird, Zakaria? Oh, oh, what do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Mrs. Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? Mm -hmm. Liquor. And I could go on and on and on, honey. I, uh, but, uh, that was different. Mm -hmm. Where is she? Where is he, Masha? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, okay, he's in Loneburg. He hooked up with someone. Mm -hmm. I don't know the details. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is a gi as gigantic as your forehead. Mm -hmm. did the right thing and I won't forget it. Who knows, you might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. Stella might, uh, here might need your services. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you to it. See you soon. Damn, I hate her stupid face. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> We're gonna plant some aluminium. Can you tell I say that with, like, malice every time? I sure do love aluminium. Took your sweet time. Are you done? Yes. Lonberg sounds lonely. Nah, that's where they have all the parties. Actually, that's where they eat burgers. I do love a lone burger. I didn't mean to plant a oh, I planted a carrot. I didn't mean to plant a carrot. Okay, what do you want to say to me? I think you're trying to annoy me, Bimple, but I approve is how all Europeans pronounce that metal. Mm -hmm. She has never been nice, running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch. Mm -hmm. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So Giovanni is in Loneburg. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. Aluminium. 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 <laughs> Yo. He's done it. I don't think I have any more seeds. Oh, okay. We're, we're good. Loneberg sounds lovely. Peacefully eating a burger on a rainy day. Yo, I do enjoy a good Borg. Who does? Well, okay. Lots of people don't, don't enjoy a good Borg. That's fair. That... That is your privilege to not enjoy a Borg. Suits me fine, honestly. Oh God, no. What? No, go. What a nice bark.
I got a snow crab. That's a bottle for sure. Yep. Mmm, salmon. Ooh, a shrimp. Single shrimp. Okay, we gotta go. Well, we're gonna go to the Everdoor first of all. Uh, I do have to go to. Is it Furugawa or this one? Mount Toriyama? I think it's Mount Toriyama. Let's go to Mount Toriyama first. How about a little snack? Okay. Uh, grain salad. It remains one of my favorite meals. There you go. Let's go here, and then we'll go to Mount Toriyama and, uh, We'll get the new dude. Bulla bullies, bulla bull bees, be beazy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was silly. Oh boy, one slate. Let us see tea leaves. One iron. That pronoun pronunciation I do find offensive. <laughs> Which one? Bull blaze? You don't like bull blaze? What's, uh, how do you pronounce it? Go ahead and tell me in chat. <laughs> in text, the best means of telling someone how to pronounce a, a word. Bull blah blahs? Blase? L is Y. Bio boye base? Like Vil, like V. Vil V. Buya Base. Buya Basi. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Buya Base. Buya Base. Base Base What? You built a house for me? 
you shouldn't have really but since it's there I, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in thank you so much very so very much sweetheart yo new spirit oh back so soon i'm always happy to see you sweetheart don't let me hold you back from your adventures what is the word Buy bus what is this oh a little ceremony all right i'll do my i'll, I'll try to do my best what do we what uh, what is it it is a skunk Hedgehog. Oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. Hee <laughs> hee, I feel young again. Thank you so much for having found me, young one. Don't you worry about me. I'll find my way around. Oh, you came. What kind of food do you like? Something fancy? Something exotic? Thank you, but I'm not hungry right now. Okay, well. Hope you choke on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hedgehog. Heck yeah, Sonic. But Time to go to sleep. I tried to get my hands on some radium, but wasn't successful. Do you know where one could get some? Uh, I don't want to be on a list. I'm already on several. that Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Well, no worry. Uh, we'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool, it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, uh, oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Oh, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella, shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. I, I think PETA would disagree. Oh my god, the eye. <laughs> that was really good, actually. 
Much better. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. And that key, I thought I had lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. It's one of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought it, they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it is well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. I guess you suggest you diligently feed it. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and de destroy your crops. I imagine building a sheep corral would be a uh, would help keep him in place. Probably do that as soon as possible for the good of the sheep and that of your crops. Tee hee. I was just glad you couldn't get your hands on it. What do you need radium for? Did Mary Curie teach you nothing? I kind of hate this song and I kind of want to get rid of it. They were correct in making that an option. You, you don't like my music, really? You really want me to stop my wonderful music? Oh, oh, relax, Alex. Go to your happy place. Remember what mommy told you about the bullies. Fine, I'll put on these invisible headphones. And then your words won't be able to hurt me anymore. Hey, you can't manipulate me like that. I don't feel bad at all. Your music is bad. No is music. Maybe weird. Maybe they got cracked down for good reasons. Mind. Flashbacks to your empty garden. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed he do. Everything looks gray now. It's because we're in the the no-no zone. Forward. Time of weird, warm welcomes and bittersweet goodbyes. I don't think we've ever said hello to anything here except for Karen, the freaking death man. Charon, are you ready to go? Yes, thank you. Okay, bye snake girl. It was nice. Thank you for teaching me how to garden. Time to feel bad now. All right, bad, time to feel bad now. Sorry, I'm not gonna cheapen this. Just wanna try out some physics thing in real life instead of just doing it on paper. <laughs> just get a bouncy ball, bot. Get a bouncy ball and then you can try some physics stuff. I really thought I could keep up with it this time. The dragon. I was certain it was calming down. I could feel it purring, the warmth of it in my chest. I guess I just did it all over again. Just like my father. The dragon is a beast. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it or to beat it down. What would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. But I know. I know what she would have told me. She would have looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She would have said a word. She knew from the beginning. She knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? This all feels very euphemistic or, or metaphorical and I'm not sure for what exactly. Historically speaking, dragons are a metaphor for drugs, but um, I don't necessarily think that that fits here. I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. As much as I hate it, it is part of me now. It will be forever. 
I want to leave gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. I was looking forward to so many more lessons with you. So you've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you. So proud of your heart. And proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what you what we're made of. Of ephemeral starlight. Ephemeral, sorry. Or but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change, and that all things end. But your neighbors. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Stella. I know Ro a rose would be too. Thank you for everything. Hmm. snake girl so why did uh, snake want to sue Isid again what spirit flower I get that. I forgot to... I, I should check, um, Deer Girl's house occasionally. Unless it tells me whenever it's got something for me. I don't know where her house is. Is it this one? I, I guess I already collect... You only get the one. Was that assist... Mm, no? I would, would not say that, no. I mean, these are all spirits, so they're all technically dead, is my thought. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's what I think. Um, can I weave wool? Can you weave wool? You can weave wool. Let's weave a couple of wools. Wool thread. I imagine I can use that to make something. We have new things. Um... Uh, aluminum ingot uh, for a windmill orchard Ma mark your fruit calendar it's harvest time we need nebula for thread for that whatever that is um, all right so nothing really air draft we need more nebula frag fragment for that <laughs> Um, nil, nil, nil. <laughs> oh god, this is the way, Bimple. Alienate one of your three remaining viewers. <laughs> Absolutely, just stellar work. Uh, I do need to go to negative 150, 150, so like way over here. But, um, also I need to go to Loneberg. Where is Loneberg? 
Is this Loneberg? No. Is this Loneberg? That's Loneberg. Kind of far away. Well, we're gonna go there. I should not have said anything. <laughs> This is what happens when when the topic of gif and and gif comes up too often. I just lose my mind uh, I don't think we need any of that uh, Wait, no, no wait This oh hey, there's marble there Am I cooking something right now? It's pronounced GIF. There you go. Now we can all be wrong together. Solid. Let's let's all be wrong together. Your dancing is amazing. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yo, is that Bisquay? I love Bisquay. <laughs> yo, what an absolutely garbage stream. <laughs> absolutely, just completely trash. I love Bisquay. Great stream, great stream. Yo, solid. Please clap. Ah! No! Yo, there's a lot of downtime in this game, is all I'm saying. Yay, I got a snow crab. Ah. I want to collect the oysters without the boat stopping. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Yo, I have an idea. I've been looking at my house. It's a little bare bones. As an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Maybe we should try, should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Let me have a look. All right. Let's see. We're here. Let's take a look. All right. Let me see if I can improve a tools workshop. A tool. Yeah. Uh, we need comet powder. Yo, get out of here, bud. Uh, we need a... <laughs> oh my god, what a... What, like, it's been whiplash this entire stream. It's like, yeah, things are going well. Things are garbage. Things are going well. Things are garbage. Things are going well. Things are absolutely awful. Just, like, spin my head right round, baby. Right round. All the way around. Mm -hmm. He's been here. I can feel it. I won't beg. But if you could... Oh, come on. You know what to do. All right. Well, no, but... You know, sure. Ba 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 Can we sell this? It's a nice chunk of money. What can we buy here? Chicken? Can I buy chicken? Yo, I need chicken. Cotton. Uh, metal rope. What? Why can I buy metal rope? Sure. Oh, what is happening in the background? Is that a lion? Oh my. Aren't you the cutie pie bambina? I'll call you peanut. Mm -hmm. Like a cute little peanut pie. What? Are you looking for someone named Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Oh, but that bambina doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? Oh, it's it's him. I'm Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Leon Formabadibil. Sorry to break it to you, but you're a bit young for me. What? Mm -hmm. Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat? Say no more. Mm -hmm. Here I come. All right, we've got a new one. What is happening in the background? Stop it. I want a zip line. Spin me right round, baby, right round, baby, baby. Just like that, no fuss, really? Mm -hmm. He must be really desperate. Let's go back. Uh, I wish I had that song on my soundboard, but then I would get DMCA'd to hell. Have some tea leaves. You like to eat tea leaves, don't you? All right, he's here. Mm -hmm. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard. So do you think he's also a lynx or do you think he's a lion? Lion? I'm betting on lion. Yo, he's a lion. I ain't lion. He a big cat though. Mm -hmm. Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Astrid. Oh, Astrid, mm -hmm. you look good. Mm -hmm. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Mm -hmm. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. Mm -hmm. The air tastes like dust. Ground feels wobbly. Stars are gonna fall, gone from the sky. Mm -hmm. No one here is, uh, no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know, the wooden ones with a little plastic hand on top. Mm -hmm. Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I never will forget. Mm -hmm. But, uh, mm -hmm. what, but? I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Mm -hmm. Can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about you right now? Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Oh, yes, my princess. Have my back, and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. Mm -hmm. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again. Yo, lies. He lying. Why you always lying? Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Geovicans. But you're still on probation, mister. Mm -hmm. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. 
You hear me? Come here, I have so much to tell you. All right. Mm -hmm. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. What a very strange character to design, honestly. Yo, this is cause for celebration. Wait, stop it. It's getting old. <laughs> Look at that. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. Oh, wait, what? Do you know what my house needs? A desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. I know we don't have a lot of space on this boat. This is kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tools. It would be like I'm living a fantasy. I could work on my own projects. Hey. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, what's the use, right? Hey. It's not like I'm ever gonna see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. Hey. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. Hey. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. Yo, game, why you always gotta be a downer? Don't forget, I want chicken wings. <laughs> Please, I, sir, I need them chicken wings. Yummy. <sighs> oh, frog reminds me of my dad. In a good way, I hope. <gasps> Yo, this guy's got chicken. But this is in a foggy land. I can't do the foggy land yet. Can't do the foggy land. Can't do the foggy land. Foggy land. How do you get all these lovely characters to, to want to see? Oh, I don't like this narrative, Neville. It's not, it's, I'm not even gonna say the word. It's not, not okay. Hey, Peanut, I see you picked the spot on the map. What wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces, mm -hmm. it's all so exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible though, could you do something for me? Mm -hmm. Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Mm -hmm. Shh, don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, you guessed right, a very special lady. Mm -hmm. I want to show her how much she matters to me. I knew you would be on board. All right, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. I've heard the shop there just received a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes. Just a, She just loves chocolate. Dark and expensive kind. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, Bambina. Let's head there then. Uh, as I understand it, that character whose name escapes me right now does not like fancy anything. So I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't, I do not trip. Why you always lying? It's literally what the game does at the end of the game. The boat has to be emptied out. No, this is the this is Karen's boat, so it's not death. It's moving on. There's a difference. I just don't like I don't like that narrative, and I don't think that the devs intended that narrative either. There's a big difference between like trying to you know like what. No. Are you mad at me, Peanut? Have I done something to offend you? No? Mm -hmm. Good. Feed me then. Pretty please, Bambina. I'm starving. 
Okay, do you like ex like stupid, stupidly exotic food? Eesh, sorry, Bambina. That thing is chock full of carbs. I can't do carbs, honey. Hey, call me vain all you want. I gotta take care, a good care of this body. How could my hair sparkle and my guts resist gravity otherwise? Can't eat stuff like this. It would go straight to my butt. We don't want that, do we? Okay. Um. This? Aha! Now this is something special. Quite the fine dining experience, Bambina. I, I Giovanni Leon Formidable. Formidable? Lee? Billy? I'm a creature of refined taste of exquisite complexity. And this hits the spot. Delicious. Grazy Mill. Grazy Mill. To the chef. Yes, I know it's you. <laughs> I am, uh, I am like fully on board. I am determined to turn this stream into like just every moment is breakneck between, you know, decent and mediocre quality. I want to keep everyone on the edge of their seat. Do I subscribe or do I block this person? <laughs> do I, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Not a hill I'm going to die on, but the word we're not going to talk about to me is essentially choosing when to move on out of your own v volition. Uh, well, I'm going to disagree, but I'm also going to move on. So <laughs> let's hit that. Uh, let's hit the button. I can't have such a strong stimulant. Those are so disorienting. Won't be able to sleep for days if I ingest this. Okay, what about a dessert? Oh my, hee <laughs> hee. You must know I really love dessert of all kinds. Thanks a lot, Stella. There you go. Um, I'm gonna plant that sunflower. Pimple's probably buried under three meters of snow. Actually, it's really nice in Toronto. Like, today specifically, it was kind of foggy <clears throat> and rainy. It, uh, there's been very little slow, uh, snow this winter. Um, global, uh, whatever, climate change is treating us very well. Specifically in Toronto. Everywhere else, on fire, basically. But, yeah. Oh, Stella. You might have noticed that there's a large empty nook in my house. You know what? We should add a wardrobe. Yes, a fancy dresser for your clothes. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Where where am I? What? What am I doing here? Oh, is this Masha? Elmo on fire meme. Yeah. Good morning. 
ma 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 Let's do... I'm gonna have enough of all of that material, so let's do limestone. Actually, no, let's just do more aluminum. Aluminum. And we'll do some copper. And we'll do iron in this last one. Aluminum. You think Wartails and Spearfair and Stalker have any overlap in your viewership? That's a good point. No. Not at all. Well, it's a good thing I'm uh, downloading all my streams and, and chopping them up and then putting up um, them back on YouTube. It's a good thing I'm doing that, huh? I can't remember what she likes. You like a grain salad? Oh, no, no, no. It is, you're not wrong, Neville. I mean, that's why I was doing Mutation with Spiritfarer, because there is overlap there. And then, and then, and then, and then it didn't work, did it? And then uh, I was having all my chaotic games on Tuesday and all of my non-chaotic, or sorry, all my chaotic games on Thursday and all my non-chaotic games on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah. It didn't. It didn't work. It wasn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't go well. Listen, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Straight up. Marble. Oh wait, we can't do this yet. We still need zip line. I give up. I just have to settle for some uranium instead. Jesus Christ. Uh. Don't forget, I want chicken wings. Um, I don't know. I should check on uh, what does uh, Albert have? Return your shipyard to upgrade your blueprint table. We need iron and wool fabric. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, let's go to the forge. Actually, let's go to this first because we need wool fabric. Oh, we need wool fabric. Hey, Atul, can you, uh, can you, like, get out of the way, please? He's, like, straight up in the way. You are in the way, my dude. Okay, I guess I'll do forging of aluminum first. Won't raw or co contain a variety of isotopes. Don't be, don't be a sussy wussy Neville. It, 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 that doesn't matter at all. I need to do five more of these. If I'm lucky, uranium 234, but I, I doubt I can find it.
late to the stream. Hey, Porlay, how are you doing? Hey, Porlay, your character's been doing really well on uh, War Tales. They're still kicking. So I should have enough to make, uh, to upgrade the blueprint station. I don't know what else I need to do. I need to upgrade a tools workshop. We need linen fabric. And I need more aluminum. Uh, I should make some more linen. I was going to take the stream back to the start, but I wanted to hang around. Nice. I'll watch the, the VOD later. This is, uh, this is a game with a lot of, uh, we're mostly just hanging around in chat. And I've been dancing to tunes. That's that's what we that's what this stream is. There's a lot of downtime in this game. This is all of the linen I ever need and then I'm done after this We're gonna do 20 It doesn't seem to give me the bonus Oh, there we go. It's really hard to uh, nail that. Okay. Um, we've been at this shortcut for a long time now. All right. I don't know where I'm going to be, where I want to go. I guess we need to go to this area. I don't know why, but the game seems to think so. Could also uh, get some of our stuff here. I do need to upgrade our ship, so let's do that. on my crops we also have cotton now <laughs> yet another thing that i have to um figure out what to do is i know i need to water that plant but it's coffee and i don't really need coffee right now I should have enough to upgrade the boat. Let me have a quick look. Uh, 
I'm missing a little bit of wool fabric, but I should be able to make that by the time I get there. find the exact composition with your spectrometer there's physics chat going on i am very much out of the loop are you unhappy you want food mm -hmm. i won't eat that really Oh, I guess you're fine for food. You can do incredible things with a sawmill these days. You can even go on the internet. You can log in. Get it? Ra 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 ra. There you go. Uh, did I need more? Need more, uh, hmm. Crusher, lounger, chicken coop. Figurehead of snakes, uh, intertwined makes the boat 20% faster. Mist clean cleaner. This is kind of what I need. Moon solo. Need a lot of glims to make that happen. Crusher lounge chicken coop. Zinc and silica powder for this one. Okay, we'll make this. Just so the boat's faster now. And uh, so I need nine more wool and nine more iron. I should be able to do that. I can, I can, like, I don't even have to leave. Nine more wall, nine more wall. Go ahead and make some wall. Do not eat, just weave instead. So what does this weave into? Let me just check real quick. Wow, that's really small. So that weaves into cotton thread, makes sense. And then the cotton thread weaves into what? Wow, we're really going for it cotton fabric okay and now I need iron Spectrometer, that's pricey. I cannot fathom wanting to buy uranium. You can quote me on that. Remember to feed the sheep so that they do not eat your crops. They can't eat my crops. I thought that the corral would keep them in the corral. Oh. No, my crops. I have no idea how to stream, but I feel like you often lose viewers when switching games. So I think matching the games and streaming fewer games for longer is better for your metrics. Um, but more importantly, new viewers don't find the stream. Maybe changing the title midstream and having only the game you play right now in the title might give potential viewers more certainty. 
Making stream names more exciting may also help, like War Tales about to cross the border. I'm not opposed to any of that. Um, I'm really bad at coming up with interesting titles. And also, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing in War Tales. It's hard to predict. Um, could today be the day that I died? Um, yeah, none of that is wrong. Um, I am not opposed to just doing the one game. Uh, the only problem with that is I don't know if this is exciting for you guys. Like, you know, the people who actually watch the stream. Um, I tend to like variety, so I, you know, for my own sanity, I, I tend to like to keep to one thing or sorry to, to, you know, I like to do multiple things, but, um, I really don't know. Like it's all kind of a shot in the dark. Uh, all in all, I think the stream is like generally bad for metrics. Um, at least the ones I do during the week don't really add up to much, but I don't really do them for collecting new viewers um, so much as for fun. The ones I do on the weekends are generally to uh, collect, you know, like maybe catch a, a couple new viewers like um, Door Fortress or Caves of Cud. Uh, Library of Rowena I'm doing on weekend purely to try and like see the end of that game. Like I, I want to, I want closure on that game. Um, honestly, the, the work I've been putting in to, like, chop up my old streams. Look at your hair. Looks like someone's been at the Babas shop. What does that mean? Oh, I get it. I think. Because of the sheep on your boat. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I don't actually have the glims to make this happen. I spent my glims. So now I have to go and get some more money. The, the, the work I've been doing to chop up my streams and repost them on YouTube is actually doing more for metrics, you know, than uh, stream probably ever did for the most part. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. You could name the VOD that like when you post stream segments. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. I've been, uh, I, I, I was very lazy about my names for, um, the, the things I post. Guys, I worked for, like, a solid, like, week and a half on all of that, and I had to learn two new programs. And it was, a, it was no small feat. Is this anything? Is that just, like, a, I guess it's just a little graphic. I don't know where I learn uh, zip lining. Uh, the, the dude is over here. I could sell some stuff. Stream name also does not have to be accurate, just exciting. Okay. Hey guys, unwrapping some uranium 234 today. Will I get the correct isotope? Let me check my spectrometer. Hey guys, 24 hour stream starting now. Um, <laughs> I did not mean to talk to him. Sell that. Um, sell these empty shells. I won't say anymore. I enjoy them, obviously. Oh, no, I mean, like, I, I appreciate your input, Neville. I do. Um, and I'm not, like, offering that as a point of contest. Like, I'm not trying to, well, I don't want to improve the stream because, you know, 
obviously I would like to get some more viewers. Um, and so I take all of the, the input as, as being helpful. Um, I do what I can to improve things here and there. I'm, it's a slow process. And honestly, I won't, not to be a downer guys, but in some ways I've, I've, um, kind of settled on the idea that I'm never going to like find a crazy amount of popularity. And I think that's a better mindset than trying to continuously, I don't know, seek, um, exposure. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would be better if I, uh, continuously tried to, you know, improve things. Grilled fish, grilled veggie, maple syrup, nebula frag, uh, fa fabric, fire glow, bright jelly. I would not won't mind if Four Tales was just the whole stream or Spirit Fair, but I also like the variety in streams time to time. Makes you look forward to what is next after a while. Yeah. And you know, like, I've, it's a stupid thing, you know, like, I, I think that, um, like, I, I get that if from, like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you, Neville, on this, but like, from a perspective, variety can seem to kill chat because it's like, well, like, everyone disappeared or, you know, some people don't want to watch one thing. But, like, you know, I try and stay pretty consistent and hopefully someone who doesn't want to watch War Tales might be more interested in Spirit Fair. Um, you know, it might be that, like, today, literally today, the Spirit Fair series went live. So now people can watch the Spirit Fair series. So it might be like, oh, hey, the, you know, he's streaming Spirit Fair, and that's in, in exactly my time zone, and I don't have any interest in War Tales, and they might want to show up for something like Spirit Fair. It might be that streaming, like, completely different games is actually beneficial in some way. I actually think that not putting Stalker in the title in some ways is, like, not a bad idea. Just because, like, I wanted to see how that streamed, and as it happens, not well. I'm still not even sure if I want to post my recordings of Stalker on my channel. Like, hard stuff. So, you know, like, all of this is very experimental. Keep chasing the peak aimlessly sounds like a recipe for mental illness. Yeah, it can be seriously demoralizing. You know, like, I, uh... When I started my YouTube channel, I saw other people who also started their YouTube channel and they're at like, you know, 50,000 subs and I'm at like, you know, 2400 or 20. Was it? What am I at now? 2700. So we're like, you know, 3000 is starting to look pretty good to me. Uh, and they're like, yo, I'm at 50,000 and they get like 5k views per video. And uh, what they do is not particularly different from what I do. It's just like, you know, it's just catching those metrics exactly right. Knowing how to do a good thumbnail and my controller just died. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, just kind of being in the right place at the right time. Twenty 2,800 subs isn't a small number at all. I feel like you're quite successful. Uh, you mean, that's one way to look at it, bot. For sure but i've been doing this for two and a half years the youtube thing is it, it how many years like i started at the beginning of the pandemic so like two and a half years to, you know small steps for sure but like in terms of like if i had a goal in mind to make this sustainable and make this any kind of uh i don't know profit venture then right now uh to call it a hobby is being pretty pretty generous it's a hob hobby rear hobby rear you know what i mean it's a, it's a hobby career
or for uncovering and solving mysteries. I think the best thing I can do, honestly, for the channel is just to try and ignore metrics. Uh, historically, every time I ignore metrics, I, I seem to do better in some ways. Um, okay. So I think I can, I want to head back to this dude. And we can upgrade our blueprint station. Neville initiating. No, no, no. I, I that's not what I'm. I'm not hinting anything at all. I I don't mind talking about it at all. I just don't like constantly thinking about it like when i as soon as the stream turns off you know like i'm just like I, i'm not gonna be doing anything else this evening i don't do any recording uh i might edit a video just to make sure that you know like i have the stuff that i've already done doesn't just go to waste but like you know what i mean like you can get into a mindset it was like what's what's the next thing i need to do like what what What's the, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing isn't working right now. I need to try something else. And it's like, I mean, what you're doing is fine. Um, like, I'm not talking about now. I'm talking about, like, when I turn off the channel, basically. Turn off the stream, I should say. Uh, do I only have the one kind of dessert? I was getting quite hungry. Yo, for the most part, you can play this game with, like, only one hand. There you go. Next is Rock Destroy. We need Marble, Fire Glow, Spirit Flower. Apparently we have one of those. Oh, I see. Spirit Flower is, like, the game gating me. Like, I can't get that upgrade until I fulfill two spirits and hand them into the, uh... Evergate. The blueprint station does actually look nice though. So what do we got? What new stuff do we have? Time to obliterate some rocks into the finest dust. We need pulsar ingot. Zinc. We can't buy it, build that for a while. Wool fabric, copper, ash plank. Ash. I don't know where we're getting ash from. Uh, sheep, corral, sawmill. Aluminium, <clears throat> marble, aluminium. <laughs> Neville's like, you said it right. You said it right. Why? Why? Air draft lounge. Relax, have a drink, listen to a tune. I can't build anything right now. I feel like I'm missing something crucially important. Let's go get some uh, nebula doodads. Hey, Bambina. You know you're special, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. If you don't, Shame on you. Just look at you running around taking care of them, taking care of me. I hope they're all grateful to you. Point me to one of them who's not, and I will have a little dis discussion with them. Mm -hmm. No, but really, Peanut, you've got to be proud of yourself and what you're doing here. You're killing it. Heavens, that's funny. Watch the stream in part because it helps me not think of work as a distraction because I'm a bit like bot and I can't let those otherwise let loose. Yeah, that's a good reason why uh, talking about spicy things on channel is probably not a great idea. You know, like, well, let's not talk about Justin Roiland. Just as a rule.
Is there start the event? Yes. This is a good way of making money. I have no idea who that is. That's good. You don't need to know who that is, Neville. They are not really relevant, honestly. Okay, um, where to next? I don't think I can go in this area. Honestly, there's a bunch of stuff I should check over, check out over here. Um, like there's a whole zone over here I could check out. Let's, uh, go to a bus station. Where am I? Right there. Bus station. Your streams are fun and y'all make me laugh. That's why I like stream. Plus it helps me exercise my social skills. Nice. Me too. I get to exercise my social skills. <laughs> I <th> <laughs> you know. I like stream. I look forward to it. Uh, stream is a good opportunity for me to uh, honestly get through some of my backlog of games that I've been meaning to play through and can like maybe make interesting in some regard. Um, I enjoy hanging out with people in chat and I also enjoy just the vibe in general. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cook anything. Social skills plus one. Mimesis has something to say. Uh, she sees how big the world is. Do you want her to, uh, like, what, 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 what was it? Chat about it or curl into a ball and cry in the corner? <laughs> level up. Yeah, oh, you leveled up. You got the social skill. <laughs> Sunflower. Go, you are in the way. You're in the way, I can't get out. Oh my god. Ah You know, it's kind of creepy that those the curtains opened on this door because the, the person that this belongs to is gone. Yo! Um, I don't want to go to that terminal. Can we go to this bus stop? Can I move around in this? Ok, 
apparently I can move through this. I didn't realize that. So we can go here. Let's go there. I actually started to get somewhat fluent in English again. Talk a little in my daily life and don't really speak any language fluently anymore. Well, dang Neville, uh, you could have fooled me, honestly. You speak English like really well. Annoyingly so. <laughs> I like the cut of your gib, you know? getting the stupid chicken wing so uh a tool should be happy i just realized his name is a tool and he is a carpenter We're gonna buy us some chicken. A score to a song that's perfect for when the leaves are falling. Why would I want that? Chicken, 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 chicken. Got some chicken. We need an orchard for this. Oh my god, that was really expensive. No, don't buy two of them. No. God damn it. Shopping for some ingredients. Maybe I'll cook something for you later. Okay, cool Hey another sheep More songs for farming. Oh my god, that would have been a good idea, huh? Stop it I'm just gonna leave you like that. Ah, uh, here's the zip line, but I need another obol. God damn it. I don't think I know you. I think my partner wouldn't like it if I was talking to a strange child. Don't talk to me again, please. Or if you do, do it discreetly. I'm freezing my feet out here. I need to find another spirit. God damn it, there's all kind of zip lines here as well. God, I just I just got a ton of money Sure hope I don't need diamonds for anything So I wonder it's worth anything I'm just gonna sell it Is 
so sort of sort of song that's perfect for when the leaves are falling we bought the song uh and that's all we need right now well it's a shame we need another obol I'm gonna assume it's a song specifically for an orchard. I think we can make the orchard. Yeah, we can. We need nebula thread though, so no, we can't. We should be able to make chicken though. At least I got a chicken. Does anyone know what I'm referencing when I say that? I'm just curious. <laughs> Have, and have a little something to eat on you, would you? Old fashioned. Thank you, Munchkin. Okay. Okay, so we're seeing the actual limit of the map, like the actual, like, hard line here i'm sorry to hear that what happened to bot he can't buy the uh the, the uranium why did it put a thing after uh bot's message got shadow banned for me all i know is look at all those chicken do you guys do you guys know who uh leroy jenkins is I don't even know why I make this reference. I don't even like World of Warcraft. Guys, I played World of Warcraft last year for the very first time ever. I don't know. I, I know that game was good at one point, but man, is it tedious. And this is coming from the guy who played a lot of Guild Wars. Love me some Guild Wars. I enjoy a Guild Wars. know something you scream like Leroy Jenkins and then you jump in something yeah so there's this very old video one of the like OG videos when YouTube was like kind of a new phenomenon and uh, it's just these guys getting ready for a raid in World of Warcraft so they're like they, you know there's very long procedure set up of uh, you know we got to go in and I want you to cast this spell and I want you to set up this buff and I need you to, you know, do these heals so that we make, you know, back me up on this one and make sure you focus on this guy. And then the guy sitting in the corner is like, okay, let's do the Leroy. And he just runs in and aggros literally every single creature. And he's just like, he's just like, he just run in. It's like, okay, all right, well, whatever, go in. And then everyone like runs in and like dies instantly. And they're like, God damn it, Leroy, you piece of shit. And Leroy can be heard in the background, and he's just like, We still have chicken. Carbs. Large, old fashioned meat stew. Acquired taste? Ah, thank you, Bambina. I was hungry like a lion. Haha, <laughs> thank you for this food. Aha, uh -huh, hungry like a lion. That was a good one. I'm hilarious. Seems like a fun bloke. Guild Wars looks in interesting? I disagree. I don't know. Listen, I love Guild Wars, but I know that if you're not into it, you're just going to be you're just like, what am I looking at? I love Guild Wars, but yeah. 
There's a reason you do not I uh, there's a reason you never saw any Guild Wars content on my channel and there's another reason why I did played Guild Wars during the 2000 sub celebration video. Guild Wars 1 was fun. I love Guild Wars 1. That that game is so janky now, but like I love it. The servers are still up for that game. Oh, uh, I guess I'm going to need a zip line for this game for this one, huh? Maybe. Guild Wars 2 for the win. I like both. Both are good. They're very different games. Guild Wars 2 is a very, very different game from Guild Wars 1. You've got that, you've got a, that face. Larry Salzburg knows faces. And yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice. And I hate it. But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Ziegfeld? Nothing for those French shepherdesses? Or whatever it's called? That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But if that's true, you're pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It will be called something like Visions or Perfection. A thriller. A murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yes. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. It'll be a star in no time. My name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now I need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new view. Something warm. It doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joanne is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. That's uh, the, there's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently she's been taking in, taking in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second, I just had another idea. We could also go the demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could do ju uh, also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right, I'll leave it to you in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you will, you think will pop on the screen. Uh, I loved playing PvP with max attack free fire mage and double meteor the enemy necro in an unblockable attack and then dying myself right after so much hate. Why can't I? Okay. The, then some site I can't post here. What? Do you know where one can find Uranium-234? <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about you asking people that in my chat. I'm just saying, it's probably not okay. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming. It's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. Came with the early bird swimmer. New recipe, heat treated crab. Oh boy, I love crab. What is this? I'm assuming this is something I can't do anything with for a while. Okay then. <laughs> I just don't know if asking people where to buy to Uranium-234 is a great idea. Call me old-fashioned. Ah! 
God damn it. It's for a science project. For educational purposes only. I mean, I know that, but... Like, possibly the, the, one of the most controversial things you can ask to buy? I don't know. Outside of what? An AK? I guess guns. Guns would be the next worst thing. Anyone know where to buy an AK-47? No? AKS? No? How about a Makarov? Simple things he knows guns now. It's not only for science, it's also for science. Well, I'm continue i guess until i get banned i don't mind what do you mean grilled chicken that's not a chicken bucket what how do i make a chicken bucket guys how do i make a chicken bucket uh give the tool some fried chicken Five views of Mount Furugawa. KFC is actually really good. I haven't had fried chicken in ages. I really wouldn't mind. Uh, I, I want to get some like chicken wings. I could, I could, I could do a chicken wing. Chicken and wheat. That's the only, I mean, like, I get where you're coming from, Nemesis, because, like, it's breaded. But, like, I don't know. Oil? Maybe I need, like, oil. Who's this guy? Suzanne's. Oh, this is the person I need to get that thing from. I, actually, this would uh, solve a couple of problems, because if I can get the guy who's searching for that art um, to join my ship, then I'll get an obol and then I can use zip lines. Sonic just casually walking past the maniac dancing in the morning. But you happen to have anything to eat? I'm somewhat hungry, you know. Food. Uh, have this. Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. There you go. Man, I have some really good music on this button. <laughs> Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here oh, on this God's forsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. Uh, Fair, whose name I don't know, not care to know, I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The gods in uh, all their materialistic arrogance have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the Collector, not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, 
you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, uh, well, more junk. But irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with. But the do job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave quickly and pick up after yourself. Wow. Can I ask where to find Plutonium-239? Okay. Well, let's see what you have got now. Looks like some kind of... Why... Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. Wait, I recognize this. Oh. Oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again, I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about ascetism. Ascetism? As far, uh, and as far as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is, uh, no, this can't be. The fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right. Just take it. Take the bloody wood print. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just just take anything you want and get out of my sight. Next uh, reward, Blackberry Outfit. I guess I only have... What? Two of four collections. Claim reward. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't make me keep you, Spirit Fair. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, who can who even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spirit Fair? Sounds rather terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Suzanne Suzanne. Suzanne, the collector. Valuable Nicholas. Oh, I see. I'm I see. I am claiming rewards based on all of the different stuff I've seen. How exciting! You've started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad, and they're all terribly ugly. Yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They're slippery little bastards. Oh, wow. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You're amused by such mortal things, it figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. Next reward, large glim bottle. Easter outfit. There's apparently 78 freaking recipes. My god. Well, we got what we came here for. Where can I find Plutonium-239? I mean, you must know. You can't spell programming without Plutonium-239. Yash. That walrus is my spirit animal. No! I think I have to hand in this uh, wooden print to somewhere. I can't remember where. Blueprint chest. Ooh. Um, okay, hold on a second. Collector in Furugawa. Ah, uh, there's Furugawa there. So I can go, like, here.
Could you ask your co-workers? If not, how come? Oh my god, bud. <laughs> Why not build the centrifuge? For science. You know, mm -hmm. I'm really hungry, you know? Don't you have food hidden away somewhere? Here you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bambina, I don't do carbs. Okay. Here you go. Uh, bisque. Mm -hmm. My compliments to the chef, Bambina. I don't know if I've had better. Now, this is fine dining. Um, yum. I want spaghetti. Damn. Big Simple is a science channel. No! No, I'm not! Did you ask your co-workers? Oh, I see Mimisy's ass that. I don't think you'll be able to find any refined radioactive material of any kind, but... Not around here. Try the pawn shop. Building with Bimple! Hey guys, today we're gonna work with some plutonium 239 uh, for science. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a working reactor. Let's see if we can't split the atom. I think I need a bucket of fr yo s shut up about your bucket of fried chicken my dude. I tried I tried They probably don't trust you enough to work with that kind of stuff. <laughs> Why should we? <laughs> what? Uh. I have been a twin swords out of nowhere. I have been working on my next art piece of Bimple, but I would need some radium 226 in order to finish it. Would you happen to know where I could find some? Twin swords has made a uh, work of art out of pure flesh and he's going to use the uh, radium 226 to uh, basically paint a picture of Bimple and in, in the likeness of mutated flesh. Sounds like fun. I sure do love, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, guys, what do you think this guy's gonna look like? Back again, are you? Would you look at that? You've got the piece. Oh, Stella, this is very good. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of that hag. What ingenu ingenuity, what spunk. Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavors. Or shall I say our endeavors? Well, it, it is decided then. There is no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Bird of some kind? I, 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 I think bird would be good. Also get major bird vibes i mean the wing is kind of a hard um uh, you know giveaway isn't it uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. or a mantis we haven't had any bugs it's all been cuddly creatures so far no bugs ah marvelous venue uh -huh. all right i know i can do it Sure, it might tingle a bit, but well, what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Ah, you're here, good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Indeed, they are a bird. Uh -huh. Ah, I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Uh -huh. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. 
Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I am Gustav. I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyway, I know that our paths have crossed on this island, and I know that together we will accomplish great things. This world is part uh, wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to evaluate... Uh, sorry, elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life. And you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. But first payment. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Don't forget, I want a fried chicken bucket. Give me this fried chicken bucket. Oh, give me this fried chicken bucket. Got any fried chicken? Oh, I want this fried chicken bucket. Hey. Stella. Stella. Uh, um, I need that chicken. Please. Um, chicken. Please. Please. I need. I need the chicken. My co-workers are bigger fans of math and chemistry than they are of physics. Oh ball. Oh ball, oh ball, oh ball, oh ball. Guys, this has been a good stream, right? Where to start? Wait, what? Before we start working on the exhibi exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, make sure we have access to proper installations. Bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of working woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and a canvas. Is there one on board? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is. A fully functioning foundry. You've got quite a well-furnished ship. And finally, the corner store, a cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built up a mailbox already? Fantastic. It seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. Um... Fun stream as always. It's too dark. Oh, you mean I have to wait till daytime before I can use the fast travel? That's a little bit weird. Good morning. What do you like to eat? Uh, I'm gonna assume exotic food. Ha! Stella, found my weak spot again, did you? This complex and exhilarating blend of flavors. Yes, exotic de delicacies are just my taste. Oh, yes, quite good. Quite good indeed. There you go. Um, all right, I'm gonna collect that, um, zipline. 
And yeah. then I think I'm going to call it. Is it a buzzard? I think it's a either a parrot or an owl. I can't decide. I think it's probably a parrot. I don't know. Hug time. Oh, good. Let's not make this a habit. Good morning, Sprout. Don't tell me about chicken. I don't care. Please. Please don't tell me about chicken. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sick of your chicken, Atul. I'm sick of it. I want fried chicken too. I can't get it. Too expensive. Inflation. Did you think about inflation, Atul? I bet you didn't. Looks like a mix of birds. TBH. They feel like a robin or hawk of some kind. Be a deer. Okay, you want food? Mm -hmm. Something to eat. Here you go. Uh, you like this. No? Can't remember. What you. Oh yeah, you like grains. <laughs> oh, thank you, Munchkin. Hug time. So I don't have to watch your stupid animation where you eat a sandwich even though I gave you rice salad. Doesn't like a tool's banging. Oh, I see. I need to, like, change where people's positions are. I have something for you. Here, Stella, I baked you something something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. Fisherman's pie. Sweet. Sweet. Robin or hawk of some kind. Wait, is this where I need to be? Antique bust. Bust? Uh, this isn't where I need to be. I need to be somewhere else. I don't know why I thought it was here. Damn it. Damn it. No. Rory. Where do I have to go? Is it here? No. Here? This might be it. Shrine. Do, do, ba, ba, ba. You know, I like this game, but I do think that it is kind of padded out a little bit. Don't, uh, don't forget about the chicken wings. Oh my God, please stop telling me about the chicken wings. It feels a little bit padded out because there's a lot of travel time and you have to like grind resources and it's it's kind of a lot Speaking of which We need a mod to turn him into Cartman Why is there always someone standing in front of this so it makes it harder? I can't tell you how much harder this makes it. It's stuck in my head now. Without the travel time, a lot of the mood would disappear, I think. Yeah, that's fair. It's not so much the travel time as it is like the resource gathering. I feel like that's more the padding than anything else. Thank you. 
Oh my god. Sucks at fishing? Oh, yo. Shut, shut up. Shut, shut up. What? What? What are we doing? Now that our prep preparatory work is. Preparatory work is fully complete. I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would need a re uh, would require a dedicated space to pr protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. Also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What a bit much. On the contrary, Stella, I pr uh, assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space for it. Both houses work as art, uh, works of art and as one. For it, both houses works of art and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. Oh, okay. And that is one of the many ways the ba Bauhaus School of Chicago integrated Etruscan architecture in its ideas. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you mind? Uh, do you need me to repeat that? No. Well, if you insist, I'll get to what? Gustav's Gallery. How much does that cost? Marble, cotton thread, glass. Okay. Oh, I'm actually already here. Guys, the uh, stream is ending very soon. I hope you know that. I know the perfect stream game that everyone would totally enjoy to the end. The Longing. Is that the game where you wait around forever? Or specifically for like 360 days you wait around? W to zipline on ropes and wires. Fun. No, not that game. Nah, no, not this. Nope. I think it is. It's discounted. Let me look at this game. I'm pretty sure this if this is the one I'm thinking of, this is a game where you wait for like a full year. This is the game. Bot is is trolling. Now, I've actually heard very good things about this game. Um however, I don't know if it would be a good stream game. <laughs> It's a kind of game you come back to every once in a while. Like every day. You come back to it a little bit. Shopping for some ingredients. Maybe I'll cook something for you later. Cool. Alright, chat. Have you? Like what? What? Uh, 
have I have I what heard good things about it? I I heard it, I hear it's actually got a good story. And there's a interesting like themes in it. I've seen someone use it as a stream game. He played it like five minutes at the end of every stream. Oh really? That's interesting. Well, uh, either way, I don't think I'm gonna spend uh, the 15 bucks on it. It's like 13. A letter from Albert. Special Funtacular Giveaway. For a special time, we are running a special promotion and closes a special blueprint. That's a lot of specials. A lot, part of our Funtacular series, a zipline pose. Zip through the air like a majestic bird. Fun. We can have ziplines on the boat. This key opens the door to the lonely house in Mount Toriyama. Thank you for the stream, Bimple, and everyone in chat. 